Hello fellow anglers, this is Van Beecham, the solitary angler, coming to you today from Cimarron River in Cimarron Canyon State Park near Eagle Nest, New Mexico. This is the first in a series of fishing reports that are going to be coming your way this year. We're going to start with the Cimarron River since that's where we're at today. It's been an excellent stellar day, no wind, 68 to 72 degrees, water temperature 56, water to flow about 32 down low, 24 up high. Now the hatches haven't been very good today. We're still kind of early in the season for the good hatches, but we're starting to see a few. While the water temperature, air temperature, and water flow has been perfect, the hatches haven't been stellar, that's for sure. Now we are still a little bit early in the season for good hatches, but start looking now anytime for PMDs in the morning. We've already been seeing betas in the afternoons for quite a while. They're not been real great hatches, but we've been seeing them. Of course, midges in the evenings. But in the next couple of weeks, you should start seeing more mayflies hatching. Gray duns, ginger duns, PMDs, pale evening duns, even some gray drakes and green drakes occasionally. And of course, our favorite hatch of all we should start seeing in the next week or two are the golden stoneflies. So start looking for those here at Cimarron River. The pressure's been light, it's starting to pick up the last couple of days as the word's getting out that Cimarron is fishing good. Try dry droppers, a good small hopper or a small stimulator or even a parachute betas or a parachute blue dun with a nymph dragged underneath it be sufficient. If that doesn't work, fish the deeper water with a little nymph rig. Try a gold ribbed hare's ear or a olive hare's ear on one and maybe a, an orange scud or even a midge pupa on the other one. In the beaver ponds, don't overlook the midge hatches. Midges have been hatching daily, especially in the evenings. Larger fish in the river this year. Uh, the river was up about two and a half, three cubic feet per second most of the winter coming out of the dam and that really helped the hatches and the bug survival rate as well as the survival rate of the fish. While there haven't been very many good hatches on the Cimarron lately, the holy water at least has been fishing pretty good. Some days of course better than others. There's some days they've been up on the shelves feeding on midges and some few uh, blue wing olives and some betis. Uh, we're starting to see a few PMDs in the mornings on nice days like today. We expect that to improve over the next week or two. If the fish are feeding, look for them in the heads of riffles and on shells. If they're not, look for them in the deep holes, phone lines, and along the banks. So give us a call today at the Tailwater Gallery and let Jack set you up on a fishing trip on the Cimarron River. Whether you go to the public water or our private water in the holy water, you're sure to have a good time. It's one of the best times of the year to fish the Cimarron. While most streams on the Sangre de Cristos are still going through runoff, there are some of them that are fishable. The lower Hondo is pretty good right now because they're taking water for irrigation off up above. And so down near John Dunn Bridge, it's been fishing pretty good. There's actually been better caddis hatches on the uh, Hondo and the Red River than there has been on the Rio Grande this year. Now, if you're going to fish the Rio Grande, it's actually not been too bad up above the Red River. If you're willing to hike in and really work at it, you can catch some nice fish down there. On the lower reaches of the uh, tributaries going into the Rio Grande and the Rio Grande itself, you want to be using caddis, of course, at this time of year. They're still coming off. They never did get going real good this year, but they are out. And even though the hatches are sparse, fish are feeding, particularly on the uh, free living larvae and pupas. But caddis dries in the evenings as well, along the banks and near the boulders. Best time to be fishing is right after the sun goes off the canyon until dark. You can catch them, of course, during the middle of the day, but that's the best time. The runoff in most of the streams coming out of the Sangre de Cristos this year has not been very heavy. In fact, for the most part, it's already peaked out and most of the streams are starting to recede. So you can just pick your favorite stream and drive up it till you get into what you consider good fishable clear water. That's different on different streams. Costilla Creek, however, because it's controlled by Costilla Dam, has been fishing well in Costilla Park on warmer days. The water coming out is still very cold. It's still very frigid up there at night. So fish midday, 10 to two if you're gonna fish there. And actually we've been seeing a few little hoppers there as well. So you might try a hopper with a dropper with a little uh, hare's ear nymph of some type, maybe on the dropper. If that doesn't work, then use a nymph rig and go a little bit deeper into the deep holes and back eddies and shelf drops. And uh, you might even try a San Juan worm. On the Culebra, we've been getting really nice fish using uh, chocolate leeches, woolly boogers, San Juan worms, but also occasionally, even on some dries, we've been getting a handful of fish on dry flies. Depending on who you talk to, the Culebra's been anywhere from absolutely horrible to absolutely fabulous. I was on it the other day with a, a client from Michigan and the first hour we caught nothing and then we started seeing some fish moving around and the water started coming up a little bit from runoff and 
and we switched over to uh, some leeches and woolly boogers and we started nailing fish right and left. Most of them 18 to 20 inch browns and rainbows. This went on for about two or three hours and then it quit, just like that, boom. So if you're at the wrong place at the wrong time, it's definitely a time of day thing right now. You want to be there pretty much between about oh, 10 in the morning and 2 in the afternoon right now is the best time. With the runoff ending early this year, we're expecting the fishing on Trinchera Ranch to get good over the next couple of weeks and remain good all the way through August. Uh, don't hesitate to give us a call and, 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 and set that up. If you want to fish some really excellent fishing this year, give us a call, book a trip on Trinchera Ranch. It's the best dry fly fishing in the region. You won't regret it. It's a fabulous place. The price is absolutely unbelievable uh, compared to other private ranches. And the lodging is also exquisite. So you can come up, stay at the lodge, let us take you out a couple of days fish that combination with Calabria that's just 20 miles away. Have an adventure of a lifetime. Until next time, this is Van Beecham, the Solitary Angler, Cimarron River, Cimarron Canyon State Park. Look for more of these reports on weekly or bi-weekly basis. Until next time, tight lines.